So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your material, put your clothes on your mannequin and you're going to take a photo. Make sure there's enough lighting so you can get the right colors of the outfit. Now, when you're done with those images, you're going to go online, right? You're going to go to weshop.ai. I'll leave the link in the description so you can get free points to use for your next project. Now, when you go to WeShop AI, this is how it looks, right? After you sign in, you're going to have AI models, products, a bunch of other things you can do here. And then the previous version is the one I love the most. I don't use AI model and AI product over here because this is like a beta version and you're now working on it. So you're not going to get the best results. So come right down here to previous version. This is, this is the one that's working really good right now. So you have different options. You can choose mannequin, you can choose model. I'm going to go with model and I'm going to hit new task. So what you do right now is to upload your image. Now make sure your image that you took is on the computer. You click on the upload image right here. It's going to open your, your folders to select the picture you want. So yeah, so now we pick this over here and we click upload and then it's going to upload the image after a few seconds the image is going to be uploaded here as you can see with our lifeless model and then over here we click on edit because we want to edit the outfit out so now everything in purple is going to remain and everything else is going to be erased so you want to select the outfit, the garment, what you want to keep. And then you scroll down and click done. All right. So over here you have templates. You have options of models you can use. If you like any of these models, you can use them or you can just type a type of model in the description. So that would be a prompt. So I'm going to select one of the models. I really don't have a particular preference and then we go to text description so now you describe what you want so you want um, a beautiful model I always like saying beautiful model or a lady wearing this dress you can see in the image her feet are bare but I want her to wear shoes and black shoes. You can be more specific about the type of shoes you want, but I think black shoes for me works. And smiling, I want her to be smiling. All right. So if there's anything else you want to add, if you want her to be in sunglasses, you can put that if you want her hair to be long, whatever details you want or however you want a model to look, this is where you put the information then you go to generate now before you hit generate one thing you need to know is it's going to take 40 points okay every time you generate an image it takes 40 points so i think my my the link i'm giving you in my description would give you about 400 points so that's like 10 images so you're good to go so you click generate it's going to take some time to generate typical ai style so after a decade and a year more, voila. Now it's going to give you four different options, right? Four different slight variations. Now this is the first option with dark hair. She's smiling. She's wearing black shoes. So this really went very close to the prompts that I asked for. The second option works as well. She's smiling. She's wearing black shoes pretty cute the third option is a little bit off in the sense that she's wearing like nude shoes this is not what I asked for but there's usually one image that does that or a few more ah another one too with nude shoes I'm, I'm not gonna lie I really like this one even though the shoe color is different from what I requested for I really like this as well and her smile feels authentic right doesn't it I think so okay 
so right now you have your four different options um you can download so first you're going to i think i like this one the most so you're gonna click here this is for full size which is free so when you click on this it downloads onto your device for free and then this is 4k 4k comes at an extra cost i think it's 10 extra points so you should realize that if you want higher quality of the image you would pay more but i think for the full size it's not bad at all if you're going to use the image for maybe online to you know sell online or to share on social media full size is pretty good and but if you want to use it for print and stuff like that i suggest you go with 4k all right so this is how you transform this boring mannequin image <laughs> into something as cool as this let me know what you thought about this tutorial will you try it and if you do check out my link in the description for free points Bye.